I am a little bit um, sort of shocked by this. Now, as you know, um, Gavin McGinnis, he is uh, the titular head of the uh, group known as the Proud Boys. This is a sort of like a, an adult youth group, male youth group, uh, where all the members of the youth group, uh, the adult youth group, uh, wear Fred Perry shirts and make jokes about uh, gay people and trans people, and that's the way that they bond. And then they do stuff like, do they have like that cookie, um, uh, that thing where they put the cookie in the middle? Uh, I don't know. I don't know exactly what they do. Perhaps. Not sure. But they also, they take a vow, right? To not have sex with women. Is that it? They don't masturbate. masturbate. Oh, they don't masturbate. They refuse to touch uh, themselves. uh, And, or they, does anybody know? I just want to get this clear. Do they all agree not to ejaculate? Are they allowed to... um, uh, are they allowed to touch themselves? You mean like and like just not do ejaculate? Like tantra or on themselves, where they like refrain from the final mm, peak. That I don't could know. be a good okay. loophole. A good so let's just cover the story here. Um, Vic Berger made a video of the Proud Boys, right? Of Gavin. Of Gavin. We oh, is that played, the one where he poops out yeah, stuff out of his uh, butt? We played that. Oh, the no, really, too, but the really disgusting video. Enough. It's super that disgusting. Vic did of of. A disgusting well, he Gavin. didn't do the video. Well, he just right, right. showed he just footage yeah, yeah. of Gavin apparently put something up his butt and then squeezed it out as part of one of his news programs. <laughs> and <laughs> and I, I did he did, was he doing that as a because he thought Gavin thought it was going to be funny or was this back when he thought that was like uh, it was sort of like a jackass yeah. style yeah. thing and he thought that was the way that he was going to um, have a career again. And it, anyways, obviously it didn't work, uh, but um, uh, Vic Berger found the video and played it. And then uh, Vic Berger tweeted this. Now, I have not confirmed, uh, but Vic Berger, I think, is a fairly reliable source. I don't know why he would lie about this. So let me just state that um, we, uh, you know, we, we we're putting out a uh, word to uh, Gavin McGinnis. We will certainly uh, take his statement if this is untrue. But Vic Berger um, tweeted, I was recently made aware that Gavin McGinnis sent this message to his followers, the Proud Boys. Uh, Today, a Proud Boy drove to my home, rang my doorbell, and threatened me and my family, all because I posted edited videos Gavin didn't like. This is the video, again, where Gavin apparently had put something up his butt as part of a news program and squeezed it out. And, and he didn't like that Vic Berger had found the video, I guess, and played it. And Also, uh, he played some of Gavin's comedy, which is a lot worse. That could be embarrassing, too. I can understand that Gavin would be embarrassed. However, he wrote that this message, this is according to Vic Berger, uh, these videographer stalkers, the, the, I guess he's referring to, to Vic Berger, who finds found footage and then uh, and, and replays it online. And this is footage, of course, that was put out publicly by uh, Gavin, you know, as part of his news program, uh, are making us look like bitches. First, everyone, and he capitalized everyone because he really means it, apparently, uh, should report this Twitter post for hate speech and have your members do the same. I guess this is like the, the crew. At the very least, we can probably get it taken down and get his verified profile deleted. They want Gavin McGinnis fired, question mark? They want to attack... Who is Gavin McGinnis hired by? I don't know. I thought he was... He was a Royal Rebel. Oh, I see. I mean, not that they would fire him. No. They want to attack our group? I don't know who the they is, but let's show them... This is all in capitals, incidentally, with exclamation points. Let's show them there are consequences, exclamation points. These fucks are way too comfortable. If we do nothing, we send a message that it's open season on Proud, and that's uh, highlighted with a yellow highlighter uh, effect. I think that was a control find thing. Oh, okay. That it's open season on Proud Boys. It's not! Exclamation point. Let's get the social media profiles, phone numbers, and addresses for their bosses, mothers, fathers, 
brothers, sisters, boyfriends, friends, and get to work. I wonder what they're going to do with those. Oh, hooker ads for his mother all over the internet. Craigslist ads for orgies and yard sales. Thousands of dollars of food should be delivered to their houses. And this is all in large uh, print. I'm not saying anyone should go stab anyone. Be smart. Post any ideas or info you have in the comments. P-O-Y-B. Poib. Proud. 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 Of your boy. Proud. So proud. Pick your, oh, your boob. I don't know. And, um. And so let's see, the Proud Boys are taking credit for sending someone to my house and threaten me and my family. Proud Boys write, uh, F, F around and find out. And uh, then he says, oh, we know where you live, uh, says another Proud Boy. And then Vic Berger goes on to say, the Proud Boy showed up at my house to threaten me, said his name was Vinny from Jersey City. He had a Massachusetts license plate. I requested a copy of the police report. We'll post when it arrives. I'm not making this up. Here's the original email I received. Let's see. I'm leaking this from two secret Proud Boy groups. Gavin just posted this. This is in reference to your video on Twitter showing him to be a racist. Oh, wow. Hmm. Wow. Okay, this is the... uh... There you go. That's the email. I mean, it's... Sounds like somebody... There's a coup going on at uh, the Proud Boys. Gavin hasn't been that involved lately. He's trying to play both sides, and he knows if he's too heavily involved with this group, uh, he loses any chance he has at re-entering the mainstream, which I don't know if he actually has one to yeah, begin with. Buddy, buddy, that's lost. So. Maybe yeah, the guy masturbated, and it cleared his head, and he was like, oh, my God, i got to leak this. Now, email. here's the thing is that, I mean, uh, I, 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 you know, look, it's unconfirmed that it came from Gavin. We should wait to see he issues a statement. Of course, if he did not do this, he will immediately deny it. Um, and he wouldn't lie about that because it's going to make him look weak in front of the the Proud Boy followers if he actually did do it and then denies it, right? So um, I think, you know, he should have all the opportunity. We should give him the benefit of the doubt, even though Vic Berger, I think, has absolutely no reason to lie. You don't know who that person who sent that to Vic Berger, whether or not they're uh, telling the truth. Uh, So I just want to make sure that disclaimer is out there um, because, you know, uh, I would imagine... Gavin wouldn't want that uh, out there if it was real. I mean, because he's, you know, getting involved in a situation that is bad. But yeah, they said not to stab anyone. Yeah, that's true. That is true. So it's easy to make fun of these people because they are so ridiculous. But the fourth step in their initiation is quote unquote reserved for people who have endured a major conflict related to the cause. And uh, the Southern Poverty Law Center says this involves getting in a physical fight with a left a liberal or leftist activist and they have been involved in a lot of violence so would tearing apart a sign count <laughs>